Hello gamers! My name is Jer, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about a brand new farming sim that just dropped called Paleo Pines. But this isn't just any farm sim, it has dinosaurs. And I don't know about you, but even as an adult, I'm utterly obsessed with dinosaurs, so I was hyped as heck to play this game. So the game begins with a typical storyline. You move into a rundown farm with your dino pal Lucky. Cue the Britney Spears music. And your job is to bring the farm back to what its former glory was. You have a really wide array of colors for character creation, including eye color, hair color, as well as skin tone. There are also some really great inclusionary features for styling, which I really appreciated seeing. Day one is mostly about getting the lay of the land, and if you are brand new at getting into this game, you might be confused as to what you're supposed to do. We'll get into that later. Day one is mostly about exploring as well as meeting the six story NPCs available. You might be thinking six is a really small number, and you're right, but there's a reason for that. There are a lot of overworld characters that will be wandering around in the main town, but you won't really need to interact with them in any capacity. They'll sort of just babble at themselves as they walk by you. And while day one feels very light, all of the action happens in day two. You learn how to use your tools if you haven't figured them out already. For people who are aficionados at farming sims, you're not really going to have a difficult time figuring out what these very basic tools do. You'll also receive a key item in the game, which is the flute. And that item allows you to interact as well as befriend the nearby dinos. There are a couple of really fun mini games that are involved with this flute, including a light version of a rhythm game, which I found really quite enjoyable. Speaking of befriending the dinos, there are numerous color palettes for each dino available in the game, allowing for a lot of availability for you to really customize how you want your farm to look. And all of these colors vary in rarity. So if you see one that you want, befriend it. You might not get a chance to get that color again. So now let's talk about what sets this farmer apart from others. There's a new farm sim that drops every single month. What makes Paleo Pines different from the others? Besides the very obvious inclusion of dinosaurs as a replacement for the standard goats, chickens, cows motif, the dinos of Paleo Pines can actually help out with aspects of your farm. They're not just there to generate revenue like you normally would see, where you get milk or eggs or wool that you can sell and make more money. As you befriend the dinos and learn more about them, in a very Pokemon Arceus-esque way, and yes, I say Arceus because I don't like Arceus, you'll learn what their special abilities are. Some of them can crush things, some of them can water your plants, and there are many dinos in the overworld. The game very specifically states in Day 2 that the dinos are not your pets, and you don't own them. They are your friends, and they are here to help you out in your journey as you navigate this world. And that's such a fun concept to me! I really love the execution of befriending dinosaurs and having them be collaborators on your farm, rather than just an accessory or just another animal that you have to take care of. There are daily tasks you have to do with them. You have to make sure you learn their preferences, their snack likes, the things they don't like to eat, and what kind of biomes they prefer. Another aspect that makes this game unique and different is that the overworld is very explorable. A lot of farm sims have a small map that you can't really traverse, and even if you do, there's not a lot of payout. There are lots of reasons to go exploring and look around and find things, research them, collect items that you will need to either get you some more shells, which is the in-game currency, or help out some of your dinos on your farm. Maybe they might even help you befriend dinos in the overworld. Now let's talk about gameplay because this is something that's a make or break for me. I'm currently playing on Steam, and I will say that the mouse and keyboard controls are not very responsive. I found myself having a much easier time with controller. If you play on Steam and don't use a controller, you might find yourself having a harder time, at least initially, until some of those gameplay mechanics get tweaked. There's a level up system with each one of your dinos, and as you use their skills, they will level. However, your stamina drain in the early days using Lucky feels really oppressive. It gets better as you go, but it's a rough start. Build mode is fairly intuitive, 
And one of my favorite mechanics of the game is that you have to actively hold a button in order to use a tool. I don't know how many times I've been playing a farmer sim where you're walking and you accidentally swing your tool by pressing the wrong button and then suddenly you have a plot of land that you now have to get rid of and you've used some of your stamina for the day that you needed to use elsewhere. In Paleo Pines, you have to actively hold your ability button in order to use your tool, preventing you from any accidental button mashing. There are a lot of quests that you can get on day one. The moment you walk into town, you'll see a big billboard, and there are very easy tasks on day one that will help you gather up your repertoire of items, including some that will give you shells. And now let's talk about some pain points in the game. I felt the tutorial was a little weak, and it sort of assumes you know what you're doing. Not everybody plays farm sims every day of the week, or at least enough times in a month that you'd be familiar with what is going on and how you need to navigate the world. Paleo Pines doesn't really give you a lot of hand-holding from day one, and the tutorial doesn't really tell you a lot. The game overall feels slightly directionless, as there are no map markers, there are no quest guides, and there's not really any way of knowing what you're supposed to be doing next beyond very mild quest marks, such as go to bed. If I'm being honest, the game has a very similar vibe to GameCube Animal Crossing, which is nice as a throwback, but if anybody remembers from those original days, it was hard to know what you were supposed to do. Should you talk to the villagers? Should you go and try and make money? Does the game want you to farm? Something that gets lost in translation from what the devs want from the game to what actually happens in the game is for you to tackle it the way you want to. You can explore if you want. You can befriend the neighbors if you want. You can catch dinos. You can expand your farm. You can do all of it. It would just be nice to have a very mild idea of what you should do next and how to get to that place. A couple things I think would really help potentially in a future update would be a mini-map on the HUD as well as potentially a timer to let you know what time of day it is. You're able to access that information via select and it's not really that difficult to click back and forth but it would be helpful if it was on the screen. Overall, the word that I would use to describe Paleo Pines is charming. It has a really lovely aesthetic, it has a strong point of view, but overall, the vibe of the music, the vibe of the game, and the direction it wants you to take feels charming and rustic. It feels like it's hearkening back to an old style of gaming that doesn't really exist anymore. And so as a millennial, I really appreciate that. This game feels like a lot of games that I grew up with, but it has a really modern and fresh aesthetic. I can see a ton of potential for this game as a farmer sim and really holding strong. However, I think some of these mechanical adjustments could be made soon to really bring it to the next level. I would say as the game stands right now, I would put it at a solid 8 out of 10. Again, it has a really charming point of view. I really enjoy the dinosaur aspect. As someone with mild dyslexia, I will say that the names of the dinos were very complicated and I had a hard time moving my mouth around each one of the words. But the ability to pet and befriend dinosaurs is such an amazing point of view that I haven't seen in other games before. The farming aspect is very simplistic. It doesn't lend itself to you babysitting. And I think that becomes a quick frustration when games force you to go back again and again to your plants and make sure that they haven't died. The ability of the dinos to help you out on the farm is such a nice inclusion. And this idea that the dinos are not your pets, but your friends, makes it feel a little bit more immersive. The characters are really quirky and fun. They all have really silly ways of speaking, and each one feels very uniquely different from each other. As my last aside, I love the inside joke of Pippin being a horrible baker, and that idea being echoed throughout the entire town. If you'd like to check out Paleo Pines, it is available on Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, as well as Steam. And if you'd like to see more live gameplay, I will be playing this on and off on my Twitch stream. Feel free to check it out. There are links below. I hope this video helped, and hopefully you enjoy the game. Goodbye gamers! I would like to finalize this by saying thank you to the development team for letting me play this. I can absolutely see all the love that you put into this, and I'm excited to see what's next. Hey, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to click that like button. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe. 
Goodbye.